attacks in France. More than 100 people killed at a concert venue in Paris. What we're learning about the deadliest attacks in the country in decades. And good morning to you. Thank you for waking up with us here. And good morning, Cincinnati Saturday. I am Liz Bonus, and we are continuing to follow the latest on the terrorist attacks in Paris. The president of France is blaming ISIS for a wave of deadly attacks last night. At least 120 people are dead, but that death toll is expected to climb. CBS's Jonathan Vigliotti reports from London. A photographer taking cover captured the chaos as explosions and gunfire rocked the Bataclan Theater. Paris police say inside the entertainment hall, at least two terrorists fired assault rifles, launched grenades, and took about 100 hostages during a packed concert. An American living nearby said it looked like a scene from a horror movie. I just never seen anything like that, especially in Paris, and um, it was terrifying. By the time police stormed the theater, terrorists had killed dozens of hostages. And it wasn't over. Two suicide bombers struck outside a sports stadium north of Paris, where a soccer match was underway. Fans crowded the field as security teams evacuated the French president, who was at the game. This fan says his cell phone stopped shrapnel from hitting him. It's the phone that took the shot. It's what saved me, he said. Not everyone was as lucky. At least 120 people died in at least six separate terror attacks Friday night. Officials say at least eight attackers were behind what is thought to be a series of well-coordinated assaults on the French capital. Police believe all of the terrorists were killed. Jonathan Vigliotti, CBS News. The Friday the 13th attack is the deadliest in Europe since the Madrid train bombings in 2004. 191 people were killed then. France's president is vowing vengeance following the attack. President Francois Hollande says France will be merciless against those behind the deadliest attacks in the country in decades. While visiting the popular music venue where more than 100 people were killed, he called the attacks, quote, an abomination and barbarism. He called on the French to remain united. He also praised emergency workers offering to help throughout the long emotional night. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry is in Vienna for talks on the crisis in Syria, but he has been addressing the attacks in Paris. He says the U.S. Embassy in Paris is working to account for the welfare of all American citizens there. The State Department says U.S. citizens can contact the number you see right there on your screen if you need assistance at number 1-888-407-4747. Kerry also said the U.S. stands ready to provide whatever support the French government may require. 